New Testament vlog discussing the Gospel of John, part 2, specifically on John chapter 11. In John chapter 11, Jesus is asked to go visit his friend Lazarus, who is sick, extremely sick, on the verge of death. And when he receives this, he goes. But he really he arrives three days late. And so he is met by John's sister, Martha, and she really chews out Jesus saying that you should have been here on time. Your friend is dead. Our brother is dead. What are we going to do? You, you failed us. And so he asks them to roll away into stone that Lazarus to Lazarus's tomb, and they mention that sure, but Lord, surely he he would stink. He's decomposing, and so Jesus still commands this, and Jesus cries out to into the tomb, saying, "Arise, Lazarus, and walk," and so. Lazarus gets up and walks out into the broad day, still in his death outfit, and Jesus raises him from the dead. And so, this is kind of considered one of Jesus' greatest miracles. And so, what does it say about Jesus? To me, what to say is about Jesus is quite a bit that it's kind of give you some context in that time after three days after someone is being dead it's literally there's no hope for them to be resurrected to be brought back to life because they believe them people could be brought back to life if they are dead within an hour a day sometimes two and so because Jesus brings back the dead daughter of a rich man and the dead son as well but Lazarus has been dead for three days. It's common for them. It's a common tradition that the soul has finally been moved on and to wherever, where the soul can no longer be come back, because the body is starting to de to decay. So uh, this kind of says that Jesus has ultimate power over life and death, and it also shows that Jesus cares so much that the most weird verse in the New Testament in the Gospel of John is Jesus wept and it shows that he was a friend he was depressed about this he was mourning over the loss of his friend but he goes up to the tomb and commands Lazarus to get up and to move and to walk and so it says to me that Jesus has ultimate control over life and death given to him by his father God and so that's kind of what I get out of this and so but Lazarus didn't know that he was dead too it was like he just was asleep and so he's like what's going on I don't know what's going on here and so I think like I said it good it shows that Jesus has power and authority from God and so kind to it goes with what John's been saying in his gospel that Jesus is God in flesh he is literally the word of God embodied into flesh and bone and so that's kind of what I had to say about the gospel of John and the raising of Lazarus thank you bye